All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video, we're going to be running a wire across the yard the easiest way that I found possible. And I will admit, I stole this idea from another YouTuber, but I'm going to explain it to you right now. Some of you with tractors may know what this is. This implement is called a subsoiler. So this contraption here is sort of hastily put together. Um, but it is a piece of angle iron with some tabs that will attach this to the back of the subsoiler and some PVC pipe. And the way this is going to work is I need to bolt this onto the back of here, like so. And then we'll dig a starter hole. Instead of digging a trench the whole way, I've got to go about 200 feet. Instead of digging a 200 foot trench that's 18 inches deep, I'm going to dig a starter hole 18 inches deep, drop this thing in there. My wire will feed through here and out the back. And as I drive, wire will feed through the PVC into the ground. And it should be about up to this marker here. It should be about 12 to 18 inches deep, directly buried. And one pass with the tractor. Hopefully, we don't hit tree roots or rocks or anything like that. And we should be done. So, I'm gonna bolt this up and get it on the tractor. We'll get back to you. So we're gonna start right here and dig us our starter hole. Then I'll cut the power. We'll take this conduit off here, pull this wire out. We'll splice our new wire onto it and seal it all up real good, put it in this hole, and then we'll be able to drive right down the side yard here over to where we're going. So let's get the hole first. Okay, there's our starter hole. This outside outlets or exterior receptacles, number 11. I'm gonna turn that one off. see it pop out there in a second and I'm just gonna let some extra amount of this hang out right now this was just a marker post so that I didn't hit it with a tractor all right trim them flush Somebody out there is probably going to tell me this is the wrong way to do this, but I've done stuff like this for a long time. I've never had a problem. over like that. I gotta make sure I have a way to 
hold this wire down. That should do that trick. background because I'm a little frustrated. Remember when I said it was wet out? We're having a heck of a time with traction right now. So I'm going to have Marcus on the front chained to the front of the tractor so we can get two vehicles pulling this. Mike, where are you going? see if our power works because I already turned the breaker back on so this should be live now. My finger so, got in the camera a little sure bit. Works good. Indeed it does.
So at some point I may decide to make this a little bit more permanent as far as the attachment method goes. But these zip ties are actually like 50 pound zip ties. Heavy. Nice ones. our power. Now the very last thing to do, Mark, is we're going to drive the tractor over top of this pumped up ground that we just did and see if we can't smash it back down. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, hit the like button, and share them with your friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.